Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video of a school bus conversion. This is a Ford E450. It has a 7.3 power stroke in it. Right here we got the mud room when you walk in. It's a shot of the bus when you walk in. Pot belly stove, propane stove. It's a couch folds out to a bed. Back corner is a kitchen. This is a table that folds down to another bed. Um, I'll start up here first. This is where our battery bank is for the solar. We have two six volt deep cycle batteries. They're wired up in a series, I believe it is. So it's actually a 12 volt battery bank now. There's our charge controller right here. We have 200 watts of solar up on the roof. 100 watt panels. I'll go back in here for a second. Um, here's our breaker box for shore power. There's a 15 amp breaker and a 30 amp breaker. 30 amp breakers for the air conditioner up top. And we um, we set this up kind of different, I guess. But uh, this outlet right here, this is for shore power. It runs out, and there's a 30 amp plug outside. You can plug in for shore power. This wire right here, this goes to all the outlets throughout the bus. There's a couple up here, one in the bathroom. So right now I'm hooked up to shore power. If I want, I can turn on the inverter, unplug this, plug it into the inverter, and now all the outlets are run off the solar. I'll just leave it on the shore power for now. Up here is just a bunch of junk we store behind the TV, electronics and stuff. Um, so I'll start with the table here. So it's real simple. The table, there's just one leg here, pulls off and pulls out of the ground. The table's resting on the sill over here. The table drops down and sits on either side of these benches, and then you can just fit the backer cushions right in the center and it's about a uh, six foot length when you lay down underneath this first bench is just storage they're just full of blankets right now and stuff and um, over on the other side is where our water supply tank is I forget how many gallons it is, but it's plenty for this bus. You can see how tall it is. Um, there's a fill port outside. You can fill up the tank, or also, if you have water at the shore power, you can run a hose directly into the water lines and go under the table here. Where we keep the propane. So we'll fit two tanks down here. It's really easy to get out. Just pull the table off, unscrew this, and you can pull the other one out, whichever one's empty. It's nice having two full tanks. Over here we have the pot belly stove. This will burn coal and wood. Um, we usually, it hasn't been too cold lately, but there's times in the winter when single digits, so we get the coal going, and um, the coal just burns a lot longer, so we'll stock it up, get it going good, and then before we go to bed, stock it up one more time. Then by morning, wake up, it starts cooling off. I'll just turn on the propane if I don't feel like getting this going again. This is a Mr. Heater, a wall heater. 10,000 BTUs. Most of the time we just use the wood, but I don't feel like making a fire. We'll just turn this on if it's cold in here. This is the couch that pulls out to a bed. Right now it's set up as a couch, but I'll try to pull this out for you. Take the top pillows off. And 
you just pull on the bottom of it. Flips out like that. And you flip it over one more time. Now it's bed. And uh, you still have a little bit of room here, a little hallway. You can walk through if you want to get to the bathroom or the kitchen with the bed out. So I'll just leave it out for now. Over here is the kitchen. And you've got storage. Just have a bunch of junk down there right now. This goes down there too. Uh, a couple drawers. One right there, one under the oven, and one under the fridge. This is our countertop slash sink. Uh, we did this just so we have some more counter space when we're not using the sink. There's little holes, you pull it out and access the sink. You can leave one side open, you can take both of them off, however much space you need. This is a propane oven. Um, here's the fridge. It's a Dometic two-way fridge. It'll run off of 110 or propane. Uh, we mostly use propane unless we got shore power. We've tried uh, regular mini fridges and stuff. It's kind of difficult sometimes unless you have a big solar setup to keep up with the draw from them. It's, um, it's a lot easier when you have a supply of propane. You don't have to worry about it. Worry about food going bad or not enough sun or whatever happens. Some shelf space up here. Now back to the bathroom. Light switch here. This is a cassette toilet. It's really easy to use. Here, this just opens up the flush. Uh, when it gets full, little tab down here you push down and this pulls out you can go dump it at a dump station you can go into a bathroom and dump it just unscrew this pour it out we've had used black tanks before and get pretty messy but this is but easier and cleaner in my opinion over here's a shower Up here is the hot water heater. Um, we just usually have the water on max, the, the heat on max. So we got two separate lines coming here, cold water and water from the hot water heater. So you can just adjust how much hot or cold you want right from the shower instead of from the hot water heater. We don't have any water in here right now. Gotta fill it back up. Trying to think if I missed anything. Some more count or cabinet space up top here. Nice size cabinet for storage up here. Just got some more junk up there right now. What else? Um, two emergency hatches. One in the front, one in the back. In between is the air conditioner slash. It's also a heater. It's a heating element in it, but I don't, I don't like to use that when I got the wood stove and the propane that draws too much unless I'm camped up somewhere and have shore power. Um, guess I'll start it up. I'm going to hear it run. It's not too cold out today, so it should start pretty easily. Take you guys outside. Hear it run.
Um, right here is our shore power. I got the wire pulled out just because the extension cord going to the garage wasn't long enough. Take you over here. There's the fill port for the water. Here's where you can screw in a garden hose here. You get water pressure right from the house or wherever you're at. Got this little adapter for a garden hose. Or if you have water inside and you want to rinse something off outside or whatever, you can turn it on like that. And uh, the pump inside will pump it out for you. This goes to the back of the refrigerator, right up top. We have uh, for the water for the shower and the sinks, the tanks underneath. So we just have this little gate valve here to drain it, pull it up. I have a hose inside with a fitting, just slide it on, run the hose over the dump station or wherever, and just dump it out. I missed a bunch of stuff, but send me a message if you have any questions. Oh, I guess I'll chimney right here. This is easy to remove, it just pulls it out. You set it in here usually. I have a little cap that goes over that when I'm driving. Yeah, I'll put that on later. So that's our bus. Thanks for watching. Um, any questions, like I said, just message me and, uh, yep, have a good day.